In this next video, we're going to talk about parsing HTML data and the two functions that I use from Visual Basic to parse HTML code or just any large text. Now, in previous videos, I had already showed how you can navigate to a page and set the source code to appear in a text box, specifically using the inner HTML. So inner HTML is what, what we'll be using. And what I'm going to do, though, for right now is explain the two functions that we'll be using. I've added two command buttons parse data and all this button does for right now is just navigate to a web page wait for it to load and then it puts the inner HTML into text box 5 which is the biggest text box that we have on the user form string functions this is the purpose of this video this is what I'm going to explain in this video the string functions INSTR and MID so I'm just gonna write the MID function and INSTR function the first one that I'm going to explain is the INSTR function, then I'll explain the MID. I'm not going to be extremely detailed about these functions and what you can use them for, but I will explain enough to get you started using them to parse HTML data, and it will be more than enough for you to read through HTML code or JavaScript code and be able to find what you're looking for. So first, the INSTR function, that helps you find the position of a specific string and a much larger string so let me just give you an example if I also do message box INSTR let's just say that I was to put this is going to be the the large string if I also put A B C D D D E F G H I J K and let's just say that within that string we wanted to find if there was the letters D D D just as an example close the parentheses DDD does exist in this largest string right here. We see that it's actually the fourth position, one, two, three, four. So if I hit F5, that's the number that it should give me, is the number four. So I'm gonna close that out. To give you, I'm gonna give you two more examples. If I was to put in four Ds, four Ds does not exist in this string. So if, if I play it, I should get a zero back. So I'm gonna go on and hit string functions and we get a zero. Now I'm going to show you one more example. Let's just say we look for letters GHI and I'm going to put it in lowercase actually and if we hit F5 we're going to get the number zero because this is case sensitive. However if I also put a capital GHI we should get We should get the ninth position if I count it correctly, but I counted it very quick, so I may be wrong. Let me just go on and hit string functions. Sure enough, we get a nine. So I'm going to go on and close this out. That should give you enough examples and an idea as to how the INSTR function works. The reason why this is important is because when I hit parse data, I'm going to show you. This, I'm going to show you this example. We have this code right here that comes up. I'm going to place that into a notepad so it's a bigger window where I can view the source code a little bit better. And let's just say that we wanted to extract all of the products that are within this web page, specifically just the item number. Let's just say that's something that we wanted. Then we're going to need to find the item string in the HTML source code. So let me just go on and look for it. Here we have a featured item, but I'm just going to ignore that one. And this is really what I'm looking for. I see that the first item in the source code is three product number 38. Four, four, five, and let me see where that is on the page so that's this one right here that's just the featured item and what I'm gonna see here though is I'm gonna see if all of the other products have this similar string where it has the item and it has the the empty space empty space and then three eight four four five now don't quote me on that right now, I can't recall what that stood for, but I know it's just a, a regular space. I'm actually going to look it up in this video. I don't mean to... Non-breaking space. I needed to correct myself for this video. So non-breaking space, I couldn't think of what it, what it was called. My apologies, guys. Now, what I want to see, though, is I want to see if all of the other items are like this, where we have the non-breaking space. So I'm going to just actually search for this. And I do see that the other item is like that. And so is the next one and the one thereafter. So what I could easily do 
to capture all of the item numbers is when looking at my inner HTML, I would assign the inner HTML variable or property, I would set that here. And what I would look for, I'm gonna stop this from running. What I would look for in this side is going to be item, the colon, and then the non-breaking space, non-breaking space. Now, if I see that this does exist, then I'm gonna have to truncate the string so that I can capture that data. So the next thing that we're gonna look at then is the MID function because that's what's going to tell us that's what's going to that's what's going to allow us I should say to only capture certain characters we're looking for